on the day of the Fed meeting, President Biden launches another war, this time against refiners. You know, the folks that produce the fuel that we all use. We'll see how this one goes, coming up here in the job. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhaper here with Existential Wealth Advisors. It is 6.35 here in the middle part of the country on Wednesday. It is June 15th, 2022. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. I want to start off with a little bit about the Fed and the European Central Bank. European Central Bank meeting today to talk about bond repurchases. They don't want their rates going much higher. Why? Because their southern states, think Greece, Italy, Spain, etc., can't pay those higher rates. Of course, if the euro is a common currency, those rates have to stay in lockstep for better or worse. If the Fed is raising rates in the U.S. and the global treasury market and the euro has to follow it higher and have higher interest rates as well, the European Central Bank does have a problem on its hands. It could even be a sovereign debt crisis if those countries cannot make their payments on a go forward basis. This is probably an issue 18 months from now, 12 to 18 months. Specifically, we'll see Europe get through a winter. It's probably two winters from now. If the war in Ukraine is still raging, it could be a disaster if we have interest rates go higher and fuel becomes in short supply. Fuel in short supply right now here in the U.S. President Biden sending a letter to refiners and explorers, Chevron, Exxon, all the integrated majors, plus refiners, Valero and Hess. What are you guys doing? Why are gas prices so high? Now more than $5 a gallon national average. Well, Refinery business hasn't been good for a lot of years. What happens when business isn't good? You shut businesses down. When businesses get shut down, operational capacity goes down. And now we need additional operational capacity and those refineries aren't there. Because of a, not just year long, and I'm not just blaming this on this administration. People hear me talk about Joe Biden's administration quite a bit. But there's been a decade-long path to this issue. Underinvestment in traditional fossil fuels has kept refinery margins down for a long time. There just hasn't been as much of a production here in the U.S. since the shale boom went bust in 2014. And thus, we haven't needed refineries. Suddenly, we do need refineries because getting gas and getting oil, specifically getting diesel, from Russia is no longer on the table, more or less, for the U.S. Because you shut down a global exporter of a giant percentage of the world's supply, now prices have gone up, and refineries can't really handle it. They're already running at maximum capacity. Their spreads are at $60. They're printing money. But if you run it, too fast, things start to break. President Biden asked in his letter, hey, you guys got any ideas for a solution to this issue? Guess what? Refineries are very expensive. There aren't a lot of good ideas. It's just part of the pain. Speaking of pain, and speaking of the Fed, bringing this back to the today's most important events, which I'm not going to speculate on, 50, 75 basis points, either way, the Fed's hiking. We'll just see how fast it does. Mortgage rates up to six and a quarter percent. That's quite a bit, right? They were two and a half percent less than two years ago. Now we're starting to see the brakes really slam on the economy. And for mortgages, for housing, that's something that the Fed has some levers to control, right? If they move interest rates up, that will slow housing. Ultimately, the thing that is really driving inflation right now is energy. And that is something that the Fed doesn't control. And since the Fed doesn't control it, it's not something that we can plan around 
and have really awesome answers for, except in portfolios to keep inflation hedges strong and to ride out the storm. That's part of what being a professional investor is, and that's what we're going to do for our clients. If you want some additional info throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I am out there. Until then, hope you and your family have a really good rest of your Wednesday. I am out.